Join us in an adventure in the holiest river of the Hinduism religion, where Esteban is about to photograph the Agoris, a small group of sadhus. They engage in post-mortem rituals. They smear cremation ashes on their bodies and use bones from human corpses for crafting skull cups and jewelry. I've been looking for the Gori for a long time. Uh, these are these beautiful men who were um, white painting on their body. They try to represent Shiva, one of the goddess of the Hindus. And what they're trying to do is that uh, they also eat the dead bodies and they use their bones to paint their bodies as well. So I've been planning this picture that it's like, I'm gonna have one of the Goris standing in one boat and the sun is gonna come up. We're gonna be uh, shooting from the other boat and once the sun hits the, the city, I'll start shooting from there. Varanasi is the holiest of the seven sacred cities in India, a complete paradise for a travel photographer who wants to document the lifestyle of one of the oldest cities in all the country. I think this is one of the best spots we can get to photograph uh, the Baba, but I think it's not the time now. I think after all we walk, this is the best, best place we can get, but definitely we have to wait a little bit until I guess sunrise will be the best because the sun is gonna come up there. That's gonna look really beautiful. This one. Okay, now this is something I want to know more about. <laughs> like, <laughs> we immediately got there. You buried Great. the lead. You buried the lead. I was trying to get the sunrise, and you know, like mm -hmm. this powerful picture that you can see in my world, like, you know, like this striking yeah. image, but I didn't get it. Then I started walking there, and then I find out like some other beautiful and short stories, like this kid who is like swimming in the, in the Ganges where many people feel like, uh, you know, this is one of the, of the most polluted rivers in the world, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's one of the sacredest ones for Indians. Yep. So it's really interesting how they go and get up, you know, like a bat over there. And uh, while I was walking there, I just found like, yeah, well, beautiful portraits, you know, like these beautiful people that live around. And I was, you know, like photographing the, um, the arty ceremony that goes every night and they go and pray to the Ganges and they go and sing and they go and, you know, it's really powerful mm -hmm. there, standing there. And I felt curious again for this place, like what's going on there? So when I'm reaching out here, I was told by this guy, like, you can take pictures. Okay. And I was like, all right. Yeah, I, I thought, like, yeah, I must respect that. They are burning bodies over here. Yeah. But then uh, he told me, like, he came to me and he told me, like, you want to take pictures from here? Yeah, what do I have to do? Yeah, you have to give me, like, 100 US. Oh. Okay. And I told myself, wow, they are, you know, they are making this, like, uh, 
like a like a way of living yeah. like many tourists go there well not many tourists i'll say photographers yeah. go there to document this and uh, they are actually like a lot of them screaming like if someone didn't pay like they just go like yeah you don't take pictures over there wow and they even go with this you know like uh, sticks and they try to beat them when Jeez. they are not paid uh, so i decide to yeah okay if i pay you like 100 us what can I do? And he said, like, yeah, you can go anywhere with me for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes. Yeah, that's true. So I decided, like, yeah, I felt like I didn't know what to do because, you know, like, should I pay him? Of course, at the end I did mm -hmm. uh, just to cover and try to tell this story, okay. how, how tourists go and create this kind of feeling when traveling somewhere. Okay. So this is a story uh, I start building there. So I went there and yeah, I forgot all the people like burning their their relatives. And this is something they feel proud about. Like, it's not like how we take that, that they go like really sad. Even yeah. though like I tried to look for it when I was photographing this, these stories, uh, but they feel really like, you know, I, I get with my camera and they feel really proud to be there mm. burning their grandparents or grandchildren over mm -hmm. there because it's the Ganges, it's the sacred place exactly. in India. In Varanasi, they burn bodies 24 hours a day. Let's see. It's a, it's a few question marks that just kind of flew up. Um, okay, I'm take off my editorial hat for a second or leave it on. Let me leave it on, make my statement, and I'll take it off and talk. To you. It's it's up to you. But yeah, I'll leave my editorial hat on. But uh, uh. but um, okay. So the moment that you said you had to pay him to get in, that I thought was a cringe. Coming from a journalistic background, I'm like, oh my god, please no. Oh no, if it's if you got to pay to get in, it's, yeah, yeah. Um, ethically, that's not something we would usually do. But, all right, editor your hat off, put that to the side, let's talk pictures. Um, I, I do enjoy how the story kind of came together. I think um, the photos that you have kind of show that transition, and it also kind of gives you this dichotomy of like this way of life and then like this moment of death. And they kind of have, like, you put them next to each other, you can honestly see like the tones are completely different. Um, one has this feeling of like, life and joy and future and things like that and this one has more of that like um chaotic palescape type scene in a way so they kind of like it's kind of sunny to see like both both halves of the story in a way um i think when it goes into that like the portrait i think of the the kid coming out the river was really really great antidote on top of that would have been amazing to have uh, um, this one you mean well, the, not the kid, the kid, the first oh, kid. Oh, the kid, okay. I think that's really, really great, and that also kind of helps to set the scene, and we kind of continue to see this transition. Um, the, the girl in the, the next photo over doesn't fully, not that one, that one before. Um, I don't know if she completely does it for me, but I'll see what you're going for. it. I want to see what else is in the take. I think there yep. might be another gem in there somewhere hidden away yep. that you might have missed. Um, but I see what you're going for, and, I, and I'm enjoying seeing this portrait, because for me, looking at it from a storytelling background, is that like you did the work, you got out there, you met people, you talked to people, and you weren't just like a tourist, like, ooh, look at this, ooh, yeah. look at that, ooh, look at this. Um, but like actually you got out there and actually spoke with some folks and made pictures that matter. It's always it's always tough and even in this one i would have loved like even with him like making that second photo of like yeah. i want to see him him like a portrait or having a port like even if you took yeah. this like you made this frame yep. and then like got up there because there's so much oh like look at look at all that detail back there we have yeah. like the, i even see these guys right here this right. guys like this dog it's like all this really really good information um behind there that you get just a little bit tired it didn't have to even be a portrait 
I mean, he probably would be like, hey, man, that's going to be like another $50 to get a portrait of me. Yeah. Oh. Sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Actually, he told me, like, you want to you keep, keep shooting? Just give me another 100 Okay, I'm going to give it to for 50 Exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to pay more for you. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not sending your kids to college. But, um, no, I think it's one of those situations where, like, even this one could have been done a little bit got a little yeah. tired just because like we're gonna sit we're gonna help set the scene once mm -hmm. we get out of here but like honestly like that that gives me so much information about what this place looks like and what it feels and goes a little bit further because i didn't, also didn't really notice that we're we're literally on the water those are boats yeah. in the back um i've seen in another story where like where this goes down and um which now really has me questioning them because if you if you pay like a hundred dollars to get in yeah i wonder i know you're talking about 